Hi, this is Seema and I am back with a new lesson on night and day idioms. Okay, now there are some idioms which relate to the day and the night. So we're going to call them night and day idioms. They're quite interesting because a lot of these idioms are something you can use every day. Okay, let's see how. The first one is to give someone the time of day. When do you say when you are, you know, going to give someone or not going to give someone the time of day? This idiom basically means that you completely refuse to talk to a person. Well, you completely refuse to talk to a person when you are upset with them, right? So if you are upset with someone, this is an idiom you can use, okay? You can say, you cheated me or lied to me for $20, I won't give you the time of day, okay? So when you're upset, when you're angry, this is an idiom you can use to say that you are not willing or you refuse to talk to a particular person for that particular day or time okay so you give someone the time of day the next one is when something is as plain as day okay during the day there is a lot of sunlight so everything can be seen clearly imagine if we had really dim lights over here you wouldn't be able to see me right but you can see me as plain as day because everything is very clear right so something that is as plain as day is something that is clear to understand or clear to see okay so after I have finished explaining the entire lesson to you I can say that this lesson is as plain as day because I have made it so understandable so that you could actually understand every word of it or at least I hope so so making something as plain as day is making something very clear to understand or very clear to perceive or see okay moving on to the third idiom which talks about the night time okay what is a fly by night what does that mean fly by night could be referred to a person or a company but whether you are referring it to a person or a company, the meaning of this idiom fly by night basically denotes or implies that you are talking about a person or a company who is not reliable. And if you're talking about a company, you're going to talk about a company who does not give you good products. So you're talking about a company which sells inferior products or services you can say something like don't buy anything from telex marketing services that is a fly-by-night company which means you think that the company is non-reliable their products or services are not of good quality okay sometimes a person may not be very trustworthy you can say don't you know make Tim your business partner he is a fly-by-night person he could just you know take your money and go somewhere so he's a fly-by-night an unreliable or a person who is not very reliable okay and our fourth idiom is a night owl okay a night owl well we know that an owl is only awake at night right so a night owl is an idiom which which talks about a person who loves to work at night or someone who is mainly quite active during the night and perhaps sleeps during the major part of the day so you can say something like do not tell John to do anything at this time of the day he is a night owl because perhaps now it is just 10 in the morning John's gonna be fast asleep because he loves to work at night he is active majorly in the daytime in the nighttime so he's a night owl okay the next one is as different as night and day night and day are quite the opposite aren't they so if it's night it's day but and if it's day somewhere else it's pretty much night over here where we're living at right so they're opposite so if we are comparing two people 
and saying that two people or two things are opposite we are actually saying that those people are as different as night and day so this is an expression you use or an idiom you use when you are comparing between two people so you can say something like uh, you know a developed country like America and an underdeveloped country like say Uganda are as different as night and day so they are diametrically opposite they're totally different okay their rules their legal statutes are all different all right the next one is a one night stand okay so a one night stand refers to something that happens in one particular night but this is basically talking about a sexual encounter for just the one night so it happens just in one night it could be between two people who are not even partners or not even seeing each other so you could say that John had a one night stand with Maria but that is no secret everyone knows about it so that's what a one night stand is when you have a sexual encounter for just one night and then it's all over okay the next one is made my day okay uh, when do you use the expression made my day I've heard a lot of people say thank you so much for this gift you've made my day so made my day is a expression is an expression you use when something special happens or something special occurs it could be any event so so an event which is special occurs which makes your entire day very good or which brightens your entire day so you are at work okay and you're really working very hard and suddenly you get a surprise phone call from your from your mother who is overseas and she's coming to visit you that can really make your day because it's a special thing that happens in that entire boring day which really brightens your mood and makes it a wonderful day for you okay uh, the next one is day in and day out day in and day out is an idiom you use when you are doing something every single day or you're doing something repeatedly so maybe I am you know a saleswoman or a sales clerk at the shoes store so I can say that it is my job to sell shoes day in and day out because I do that every single day I do it repeatedly 24 by 7 or at least five days a week and I work eight hours every single day so I'm doing a, a single action or a thing day in and day out meaning I do it every single day repeatedly and our last night and day idiom talks about calling it a day calling it a day can also be calling it a night depending on when the uh, expression is used so if you are say you know in the daytime if you finished working okay you say I'm calling it a day at night if you finished doing your share of the work you will say okay I'm finished with my work I'm calling it a night so calling it a day or a calling it is a night calling it a night is an expression you use when you have finished your work and you are ready to pack and you want to or you're ready to pack and go home perhaps okay so you finished with working until say seven o'clock in the evening you say I'm calling it a night because it's almost evening almost night you finish your work sometime at say one in the afternoon you say I'm calling it a day I'm tired now I'm going home okay so these are the different expressions or idioms which are called night and day idioms and I'm sure you can use it every single time whenever you are referring to events relating to these idioms okay I'll be back with some more lessons until then this is me saying goodbye and take very good care of yourself